Good morning and welcome again to another podcast, Down to Earth, but Heavenly Minded. I'm your host, Herbert. Today we're going to look at an article about Judas by Steve Hulshazer. Judas also, was betra- which betrayed him, knew the place, for Jesus oftentimes resorted thither with his disciples. Let's just look at that scripture once for a minute here. It says, Now Jesus, the one who betrayed him, knew the place too, because Jesus had met there many times with his disciples. Kind of an important scripture to remember. Being deceived is a terrible experience. Being led to believe something is true when in fact it is false, can be very harmful. Nowhere is it more true than when it comes to salvation. For a person to believe he is saved, when in fact he is not, is very sad. You know, Judas traveled with Jesus for three years or so. He saw all the miracles and sat under Jesus' teaching All that time, he was even trusted treasurer of the small band. He knew all the right phrases, and he was familiar with the jargon. He knew he even preached and healed. You know, that's recorded in Matthew chapter 10. You can look at verses 1, 4, and 7. Well, he knew all the right people. He traveled with the Messiah, and he kept company with Peter and John and the others. He knew all the right places. He knew the temple and was familiar with Gethsemane, where no doubt he listened to Jesus' teaching a number of times. Despite knowing all these right phrases, people, and places, Judas did not know Christ. How sad to think that there are those like Judas sitting in church pews today. And I believe there are many that think they're saved. They go to church. I do good things. I'm not a criminal. I don't steal, and I don't murder. I'm a good person. Well, the Bible tells us just the opposite. It says, no man is righteous. No, not one. We all fall short of the glory of God, and we all need Christ as our Savior. And there are a lot of people, just like Judas, who think you're all right. I know Jesus. I follow him. Well, you don't know him. You'll never get to heaven. You'll never be with the Lord for all eternity. So it's time that you think about these things. Don't be a Judas. Be a true believer, a true follower in the Lord Jesus Christ.